This video will cover AC to DC applications and it will explain the benefits of EPC's EGAN devices for these applications. First, we will review target applications. Then, we will discuss EGAN technology's benefits for AC to DC conversion. And finally, we will introduce EGAN device portfolios and compare performance with silicon power MOSFETs. One of the target applications is USB-C PD quick chargers. They use a flyback topology and 600 volt GAN FETs from TI, Navitas, Panasonic, or other suppliers that can be used on the primary side, while 100 volt or 150 volt EGAN FETs from EPC can be used in the secondary side. USB-C PD quick chargers and adapters for smartphones and laptops require the highest power density for fast charging and small size. EGAN enables miniaturization, very high efficiency, and excellent thermal performance. Another target application is power factor correction, or PFC. 200 volt EGAN FETs can be used in a four level totem pole PFC topology for the highest power density. Here you see a three kilowatt solution. We measured efficiency at greater than 99% and the converter board is very small, measuring only 42 millimeters by 78 millimeters. And the total solution size is only 73 millimeters by 120 millimeters. Another target application is the AC to DC or silver box to power the new 48 volt input servers. In the new systems, the output of the AC to DC converter that in the traditional systems was 12 volts becomes 48 volts. Here you see an implementation for a one kilowatt DC to DC converter from 390 volts to 48 volts. This is a TI reference design and the use of GAN switches allows it to deliver one kilowatt of power in a two inch by 2.1 inch by 1.7 inch format with less than a 230 gram weight. EGAN FET devices also enable efficiencies of 98% that meets or exceeds the most stringent titanium efficiency requirements for AC to DC conversion. The resonant LLC half bridge with secondary synchronous rectification and center tap transformer can cover from 100 watt power to 6 kilowatts. This topology is the most common for power supply and server and telecom systems because it is simple, low cost, and allows the highest efficiency. The primary side half bridge FETs are rated at 600 volts, and generally these GAN FETs come from TI, Navitas, GAN Systems, Panasonic, or other suppliers. The secondary side synchronous rectification FETs are rated 60 volts for a 12 volt output, 80 to 120 volts for 9 to 24 volt outputs, and 150 volts for 48 volt, and 200 volts for 56 volt output. EPC's EGAN FETs offer the best performance for this synchronous rectification socket. Here you see a full range of 100 volt FETs from EPC with on resistance ranging from 20 milliohms to 2.5 milliohms. Gate charge is very small from 1.7 nanocoulombs to 11.8 nanocoulombs. QGD is also very small for very low switching losses and QRR is zero. The device area is ultra small from one millimeter squared to seven millimeter squared. If we compare the performance of EGAN FETs versus the benchmark silicon MOSFET, the RDS on of the EGAN device is 38% smaller despite the higher voltage rating of this EGAN device. QG is 57% smaller, QGD 82% smaller, and QRR is zero. Additionally, the EGAN FET is one third of the size.
Here you see a full range of 200 volt PETs from EPC with RDS on ranging from 36 milliohms to 6 milliohms. Gate charge is very small from 1.8 nanocoulombs to 10 nanocoulombs. QGD is also very small for very low switching losses and QRR is zero. The device area is ultra small from 2.6 millimeter squared to 7.4 millimeter squared. If we compare the performance of EGAN FETs at 200 volts versus the benchmark silicon MOSFETs, the RDS on of the GAN device here is 33% smaller, QG is six times lower, QGD 80% lower, and QRR is zero. Additionally, the EGAN FET is 15 times smaller than the power MOSFET. Overall, EGAN devices are 15 times smaller, have less loss, and no reverse recovery, and enable higher switching frequencies. Here you see our 150 volt product, the EPC 2033 and the EPC 2059. The EPC 2059 is our newest device. On resistance is 9 milliohms. QG is 5.9 nanocoulombs, QGD is 0.9 nanocoulombs, and the size is only 3.9 millimeters squared. EGAN FETs are very small, but that's not a big concern for thermal management because they are also six times more efficient in dissipating heat versus silicon MOSFETs. The chart on the right shows that the thermal resistance from the case to the junction for GAN devices is six times better for the same area than the best thermal package for silicon MOSFETs, which is the direct FET. The lower thermal resistance results in incredible thermal performance. Here you can see that a small four millimeter squared die can dissipate six watts with a temperature rise of only four degrees C per watt. More information on thermal handling can be found on the EPC website, including a how-to GAN video on thermal designs. EGAN devices also can improve EMI. Lower parasitic inductance and no reverse recovery reduces ringing energy. Fast rise in fall times will move the noise spectrum to higher frequencies, but that makes it easier to filter. For more information on EMI, view the How To GAN video on this topic on the EPC website. A full ecosystem is available to drive EGAN FETs in AC to DC applications. Several synchronous rectification controllers with integrated drivers are available for synchronous rectification. Visit the EPC website for a full list of EGAN compatible integrated circuits. To sum up, EGAN FETs are smaller, more efficient, and more reliable than silicon MOSFETs. Using EGAN devices enables the highest power density for four-level totem pole universal power factor correction systems and secondary side synchronous rectification. For more detailed information about EPCs, EGAN FETs, and ICs, in DC to DC or AC to DC applications, please see the third edition textbook, GAN Transistors for Efficient Power Conversion, or view more videos in the How To GAN and Why GAN series. And for more information on EGAN FETs and integrated circuit products and evaluation kits, go to epc-co.com.